what if the name of the game here were to be it's all a dream I'm sure you've heard this before but let's just take a moment what if that were the real name of the game it's all a dream how can those of us who see that that's true and those of us who are wondering if that's true how can we come together in a way that allows for that to be something that is helpful and yet at the same moment we don't end up distrusting or putting down or judging this dream life how can we honor what it is that seems to be happening and yet in the very same moment understand that it's not real at all and that there's no control too by the way it's all just unfolding of its own dynamic impetus something that's really been helpful here is to occasionally spend time pondering nighttime dreams and comparing nighttime dreams to what's going on when the body mind here is awake and walking around talking doing the dishes driving the car and what I've seen is that there's a huge way to correlate the two things there's a huge way to if one understands the nighttime dream, one can understand the daytime dream. At night, your body, my body, lays down and consciousness seems to switch off and sometimes switch into another mode of dreaming. It does both when we sleep. And when we're dreaming, the awareness that we have in the dream that things are happening we're walking on streets we're looking at trees we're running away from the bad guy with the knife <laughs> when that's happening in the dream we don't question it we don't go hmm I wonder unless you're training yourself to wake up in your dream have a lucid dream then you don't question it I don't question it we just dream and it goes on and it does what it does everything just happens sometimes we imagine that we have a volition a will of our own there in the dream but in actuality it's like we're being led around by the nose in in each dream this is what I've noticed anyway the dream seems to just pull me along and things just happen how does that correlate to daytime how does that correlate to what is this dream world right here this mind induced hallucination well, when, when there's still sleep happening during the day, when there's no recognition that there's a dream, the dream, the life, this, pulls us along by the nose. What we do is we think about everything and then react to our thoughts about what, what we're thinking. Somebody comes up to you and says something rude. Immediately you have a thought, that's so rude. That's so awful. And you respond to your thought and you say something rude in return. What if, in that moment, you were so awake that you, know, you didn't see their comment as rude? What if, in that moment, you just saw it as a comment? There wouldn't be an instantaneous reaction to that's so rude because that's so rude as a thought would not have gone through your head. Or if it did, you would have just gone, hmm, there's a thought that says that's rude, but I know that's not true. Which brings us to another thing. The reason why we think that all of this around us in the daytime is true and real and having an effect on us is because we believe our thoughts about it. Our thoughts say, because we're conditioned to think this, that this is real. Our thoughts say when someone is rude that we need to say something back. Our thoughts say that when we see something we don't like that that means the thing we don't like is bad. Our thoughts say that when we experience something that we feel happiness around that that thing is good. 
And we need to perpetuate that and push back the stuff that we think is not good, the stuff we've labeled bad. This is all thoughts, people. Thoughts about what's happening here. Thoughts are not true in and of themselves. They're things that go through our mind. They're like boxes. They travel on the train of thought through our mind. We don't have to open each one up, look inside at the content, and then make a value judgment. Make any judgment at all. Right, wrong, good, bad, or even I like it or I don't like it. The truth is, when thought comes through, we do make value judgments. We look at that thought and whatever it's referring to, like it's referring to the person who walks up and it says something. Let's just say they walk up and say, you're fat, ugly, and stupid. All right, so someone says that. The thought immediately arises that says, oh my God, that person is dissing me. That person's rude to me. I'm going to say something to that person. And then usually, bah, 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 bah. Okay. What if the thought goes through and you ignore it? Or what if the thought goes through and it says, hmm, that person is saying something personal about this body-mind unit and it's not true. The thought keeps going. What if whatever pops up about what they say and you just go, hmm, well, I like or I don't like what they said. I like or I don't like what I think about it. Maybe that would be a baseline where you could start. You either like it or you don't like it. Because that's true. We all have, even those of us who are waking up in a grand way, we all have likes and dislikes. That may not ever end. Although some of it is really dropped off here. It's not true to say that what happened is good or bad or the thought about it is good or bad. Thoughts are just thoughts. The action, believe it or not, the person who walks up to you and says you're fat, stupid, and ugly, that person is not bad. What they said in their comment is not bad. It is neutral. Meaning, like the dream at night, which is made only of dream stuff, which indicates that every single thing in a nighttime dream is equal to every other thing within that dream. So too, during our daytime dream, our daytime hallucination is everything equal to everything else in reality. In our thoughts about everything in the daytime dream, nothing is equal to anything else. We have divided, subdivided, and further divided. Like, don't like, good, bad, beautiful, ugly, up, down, hot, cold. That's not wrong. We're here to be experiencing. However, in this division and judgment, we have created intense, powerful, and what we think of as long-lasting, permanent suffering. It doesn't have to be. During the daytime dream, see things, if even just as a mind game in the beginning, as you would see the things in a nighttime dream. In the nighttime dream, Everything is equal to everything else because it's all dream stuff. In the daytime dream, it's all dream stuff too. Each thing equal to the other. That doesn't mean don't have preferences. That doesn't mean walk up to someone and put a knife into them and consider it the same as if you had walked up to them and shook their hand. In reality, it is the same thing. Harsh statement? Yes. True statement? Yes. However, what's being noticed here is that by entertaining those ideas, diving into them deeply, 
with my attention. I've come to see their truth. And I'm a kinder, more gentle, and compassionate person because of it.